throughout calculus, you're going to hear the word derivative all over the place. In this video, we're going to talk about what a derivative is. So in our previous video, we talked about the slope of a function. We, we saw that in a linear function that the slope stayed constant. With a quadratic function, it went from negative to zero to positive slope. So we could see that the slope was changing everywhere. This cubic went from positive to zero to negative to zero to positive. Really, when we're looking at any nonlinear function, the slope is constantly changing. And the slope is hugely relevant in business applications, as really it's talking about how things are changing relation, in relation to each other. Business is all about responding to change. Well, the derivative is, by definition, the calculation of the rate of change of a function. In other words, it is the calculation of the slope. The rate of change of a function is the same as the slope. So a derivative is the calculation of that slope. So as we are curious about how things change in relation to each other, we're really curious about its derivative. Now, before we get into how to calculate this derivative, which is going to be what the next few videos are about, we should get into the notation involved in the derivative, as it's very unique notation. So in the top right corner here, you can see that I have a function, and I have the equation for the function y is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared. So in this case, y is going to be our vertical axis, x is going to be our horizontal axis. And when we're talking about a slope or the derivative, we're going to be talking about how y changes in relation to x. So whenever working with derivatives, we start with what the function is. It's x. It's y is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared. Now it's also worth noting that this could be written as f of x, as, as in this is a function of x, is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared. So this is our function notation. And these are equivalent because y is a function of x. Now the derivative, that calculation of how the slope is, can be written in multiple ways. We use a variety of different notations. This first one we call dy by dx. That's how we would say this. It's d, and then the variable of interest here is y. We can see our equation is about y, and it is a function of x. So we're looking at how it changes in relation to x. An equivalent notation would be here, d by dx of, and instead of writing y, we're writing the whole equation. Another way we might write this is y prime. So if you see this apostrophe sort of notation up here, we call that prime. And this is the first derivative as well. Or we might say f prime of x as this y and f are the same thing as f is just simply noting that it's a function of x. So in the end we essentially have two different types of notations. We've got the d by dx type notation that we see here and we have the prime notation that we see here and while it might be a little bit annoying that you have to deal with two different types of notation conventions it is just the reality what was happening historically is that there were two people coming up with the concept of the derivative at the same time and they used two different types of notations and thus here we are today still using two different types of notations and for the most part, it's not a problem once you get used to it. But you do have to get used to it, so the next couple of exercises you're going to be doing are about getting used to that notation convention.